All right, welcome back to 5-Minute Kerbal. What we're going to do now is we're going to build our rocket for our Minmus chute. This is our lander. We just talked about it in the last video. It's the exact same lander, and it's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a stack decoupler. Now, you got to think about this in terms of how we're going to get there, uh, and you got to think about it backwards, obviously. This is enough to get us home from Minmus. What do we need to get to Minmus from orbit? Well, we're going to need a 400 tank full of fuel and a little engine so we can use this LV-909 again here now stack decoupler and now we need the heavy lifter we need the big equipment that's going to take us all the way up into orbit with all of this heavy gear on top so what we're gonna do is we're going to use the 800 fuel tanks we're gonna use two of them okay and then we're going to put a 200 thrust engine. This is the 45. This is the one with thrust vectoring. We're going to put it in the bottom of that engine there. We're going to get some fins. The AVR8 winglets. Four times symmetry mode. We'll just put these wings on right there. Perfect. Now we need to do asparagus stage on some more fuel. So we will turn on two times symmetry mode. There we go get some radial stack decouplers and we'll put them on right there so that the fuel doesn't interfere with the fins I think that will work I don't know. maybe we need to go over just a bit yeah that'll work alright let's grab a couple of 800 fuel tanks bingo more on the bottom there we go and we will add a fuel duct going into the center because this will be the first part of our asparagus staging. We will add 215 thrust engines. This is the LVT30. 215 engines on the side there. Okay, now let's check our staging here. These two... Alright, that's cool. Those are going to go... This engine needs to be down here. All the engines need to be in the same spot. Good. Alright, now we add... Let's add some struts. So we're going to add a strut here, and a strut also on the far side over here. Perfect. Now, more radial decouplers, still in two times symmetry mode. We get some more 800 fuel tanks. There we go, that looks fairly level. All right, more 800 fuel tanks there. Put engines on the bottom of those. Where's those 215 thrust engines? There we go. All right, all engines are in the bottom. These two, we need to destage them before the other two, so we're going to make a new staging group for them. We are going to get our fuel duct and asparagus stage it over there. And then we will also put some struts here. We're going to attach this to the center there. And attach there and then we will also take struts and we will attach the rockets the boosters to themselves the fuel duct does not offer any structural stability by the way for all intents and purposes you can consider it to essentially be floppy all right we're gonna add some gantries so if you look up here on the structural thing it's this thing there that's um looks like a gantry I guess that might just be a crane but whatever these things right here we're going to add those. They need to fire at the same time as the initial rocket push, so we're going to put them down in the bottom stage. And there we go. Let's check our staging. Uh-oh. These rockets are not on that radial decoupler. Why you got to do me like that, Kerbal? Alright, it looks like everything's still okay. We got... Well... Hold on a second here. Let's redo this fuel duct. All right. And where is this strut going? Okay. Now, all five rockets are down here in the first stage, as well as the gantries. Um, these two rockets that are furthest out on the fuel chain will go first, then the next two. Then we'll go to our transminmus injection stage up top, and then we should be good to go. Oh, just for just for the sake of looking cool, 
We can put some aerodynamic nose cones on here too. Because why not? Alrighty. That should be a good enough rocket to go to Minmus. We will use it next time. See you then on a five minute Kerbal.